What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 9 of the tutorial series on Amazon WebSocket API Gateway tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through on how to pass a query string parameter while creating or establishing the connection with the WebSocket API. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to connect to WebSocket API using Python. So basically till now we were using WS cat utility to connect with the WebSocket API. But in this tutorial, we will see how we can connect to the WebSocket API using Python WebSocket client basically. Right. So as I said here, we will be using WebSocket Python client to connect with the WebSocket API. So the client that we are going to use is this one that is WebSocket underscore client. So let's get started. So the very first thing that we have to do is go ahead and install this package or the client on your system. So to install the command is pip3 install websocket hyphen client enter. So it's already installed on my system. So it says requirement already satisfied, but you have to install it since we are going to use this right now. Once that is installed, uh, we will go to sublime and we will create a new file over here and we will save this. We will say web socket dot py. Now here uh, we are going to use the uh, code which is mentioned in the documentation of that Python client. So we will scroll down to here. So I'm going to copy this code and we will paste it within sublime text. Now the very first thing that we have to do is we have to modify this or replace this connection URL with the actual one that we are using. So here I have the WebSocket client. So this is the same uh, WebSocket API which we are using throughout this tutorial series, right? So to get the WebSocket URL, click on stages from the left panel, click on the stage and copy this WebSocket URL. So we will copy this and paste it over here. Correct. So now we have the WebSocket client. Now let's go ahead and run this. So we had not modified anything. We have simply replaced the WebSocket URL and we will try to run this. So I will say Python three WebSocket.py. So it is giving an error saying import error cannot import create connection from partially initialized module WebSocket, right? So it says uh, most likely due to circular import. So the problem here is that uh, the name of the file, so we cannot uh, name it as websocket.py instead uh, we will rename it to ws.py. So I had intentionally uh, created a file with websocket.py just to show you this error and how you can rectify it. Right. So now let's go ahead and run this again and this error should disappear. So now it says can't open file. Okay. I need to run the latest file that is ws.py. And I think it's working fine. But apart from that, I want to highlight that you might receive this error that is SSL uh, certification error. Correct. So this issue has arised on Mac OS basically, but uh, I'm not sure about other operating system. So to resolve this, you need to go to applications. So click on applications from the left panel and search for Python installed version. So in my case, it's Python 3.8. So I will open this and you need to run these two files that is install certificates dot command followed by update shell profile dot command. Correct. So I have already run this, so I'm not getting this error, but you might face this issue. So to resolve it, you need to first run install certificates dot command followed by update shell profile dot command, then uh, restart our terminal or open a new session of the terminal. Correct. And that error will be resolved. Now moving along. 
So here we have the uh, WebSocket URLs. So now I will take you through the code. So here we are importing the create connection method from WebSocket client. And here uh, we are creating the connection that is uh, create connection followed by the WebSocket URL that is connection URL. We will remove this sending. Now here uh, we need to send some message. Now if you remember then we had created on message root in part six of this tutorial series. So if we look at the API then we had created this root that is on message. So if you even look at it over here, this is the part six of this tutorial series. So here uh, what we had did is we had exchanged few messages from the client to the server and vice versa. So we will be invoking the same route and we will say hello. Correct. So let's go back to sublime text. Now here uh, we will require one more package that is JSON. Now instead of hello world, uh, we will send JSON dot dumps followed by the payload. So that's going to be action. Y action. Let's have a look. So here our route selection expression will look for action. If that action is not found, then it will by default forward that message to the default route. Correct. So in order to invoke the on message route, we have to pass on key value pair with action colon on message, then only it will invoke the correct route that we want to execute. So that's the reason action colon on message followed by the message that we want to send. So it's going to be message colon, I will say hello. I will encourage you to go through part six of this tutorial series if you had uh, not gone through in order to understand this better. So make sure uh, you have gone through part six and then you are going through this tutorial. Now here on line eight, we are sending some message. Here we are saying message sent. Let's say message sent. And then uh, we are receiving the message. I will remove this. So here on line number 10, sending message. Here on line number 10, we are receiving the response uh, that is being sent from the WebSocket API. So I will see receiving response. And here within result variable, we will have some response. And on line number 14, uh, we are printing the response that is received, I will say received response followed by result. So I'm going to use F string over here. And finally, on line number 16, we are closing the connection. Correct. Now let's go ahead and run this. So let me clear this. Now if you look at over here, here we are sending hello world. And as you see, the response we had received is default root invoke, right? So by default, it has uh, forwarded this message to the default route because it was unable to identify the action as a route selection expression within the payload. Correct. So let me clear this and let's run this again. So it says message sent and here we have the received response that is message that is hello from server. Correct. Now, if you remember, then we had configured few more responses that is for how are you basically. So let's try this also. So here we have the response that is server is fine. How are you correct? But here we have a problem. 
So what just happened is that we created the connection, sent the message and finally we received the response and the connection is terminated. It didn't wait for us to send another message or it didn't wait for any user action for connection termination. So how can we keep the connection alive using this uh, WebSocket client within Python until and unless the user terminates the session or close the connection? So well, uh, that is something we will cover in part 10 of this tutorial series. And for now, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.